for the cause is the 94th episode of the science fiction television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine, the 21st episode of the fourth season. Guest stars Kenneth Marshall as Michael Eddington and Penny Johnson as Cassidy Yates take center stage, in this intricate episode involving a Federation plan to help Cardassia with aid, not everything may be what it seems. Plot. <laughs> <laughs> The Federation plans to deliver several replicators through Deep Space Nine to Cardassia following attacks by the Klingons that debilitated their industrial base. Lieutenant Commander Michael Eddington debriefs the senior command staff that the Federation and Starfleet fear that the shipment will be intercepted by the Marquis. Eddington and Station Security Chief Odo warn Captain Sisko that they believe his girlfriend, freighter Captain Cassidy Yates, is working with the Marquis. Sisko denies it but instructs Worf in the Defiant to follow Yates' ship, the Kosa, when it next departs. Worf confirms that the Kosa delivered supplies to a Marquis ship in the Badlands. Disheartened, Sisko insists to be present when they attempt to catch Yates' next shipment once they hear of its schedule. He, Odo, and Worf wait aboard the Defiant at the expected time but the Kosa does not show up. Odo suggests this might have been a ruse to lure Sisko away from Deep Space Nine. However, the Kosa soon does arrive, and Sisko tasks Yates to her actions. Yates claims she has only been delivering medical supplies to the Marquis, but for herself, she suspects that maybe she too had been used by the Marquis to lure her from the station. Fearing deception, Sisko lets Yates go and sets course back to Deep Space Nine. Meanwhile, in Siskar's absence, Eddington takes command and orders the senior crew to prepare transport of the replicators to an inbound Vulcan craft. Major Kira walks into the briefing room where Eddington is alone and he knocks her unconscious, revealing himself to be with the Marquis. Eddington transports himself and the replicators to a waiting ship and flees the station. Eddington later contacts Sisko to reveal his alliances and that the Marquis are only at conflict with Cardassia, though promise further trouble if the Federation aids them. Sisko vows to capture and arrest Eddington himself. Later, Yates returns to the station alone, having dropped her crew in the Marquis Badlands, to turn herself in, believing this was what Sisko wanted. She tells Sisko that she had intended no harm and only felt a duty to aid the Marquis. Sisko and Yates have an emotional embrace before she is taken off to the brig. In a side plot, Garrick has taken interest in Gul Dukat's half Bajoran daughter, Tora Zial, who is living in Kira's charge on Deep Space Nine and recently visiting his tailor shop. Garrick would like to become romantically involved, but fears that Zial has been instructed to kill him, since Garrick had been responsible for the torture and death of Dukat's father years ago. Garrick tries to speak to Kira to understand Zeal's intent but has severe self-doubt. Eventually, he decides to join her alone to a holo suite, even if she intends to kill him. There, Zial reveals that she has no intent to kill him but also does not need his companionship, she only wishes to seek his knowledge of Cardassia as she cannot go there. Garrick and Zial begin their relationship. Topic. Production Writer Mark Garrett O'Connell was inspired by the Oklahoma City bombing to write this episode. Specifically, he recalled how in the days following the bombing, suspicion fell upon people of Middle Eastern descent as the culprits, when in fact, the true culprit was Timothy McVeigh, a white American. Garrett O'Connell decided to write a story in which Deep Space Nine was the target of a terrorist attack, after which suspicion fell upon the least likely person, Cassidy Yates, as the prime suspect. As the story evolved, the attack upon the station was dispensed with, and the trust between Cassidy and Sisko became the thematic focus of the episode. The episode's story would be followed up later in a sequel episode, For the Uniform. After being played by CYIA Batten in Indiscretion and Return to Grace, Zial is played in this episode by Tracy Middendorf. This is Middendorf's only appearance in the role, as Melanie Smith later acquires the role permanently in In Purgatory's Shadow, 
playing her until the character's final appearance in Sacrifice of Angels. The set of the Kosa Bridge was created from pieces previously used as the interior of the Saratoga, on which Sisko had served as first officer, as seen in the pilot episode, Emissary. The mention of Tholian punctuality by Cassidy in the second scene of Act II was writer Ron Moore's tribute to the original series episode, The Tholian Web, in which those aliens first appeared. The reference by Jake Sisko in Act 3 to the 1961 Yankees and the 1978 Red Sox was a tribute by producer Ira Stephen Bear to his two favorite baseball teams. 